We're joined now by Congressman Jenkins, a Republican from West Virginia and a close friend to Representative Scalise. What are your thoughts about this that's all been going on this morning? Well, a deep concern. We pray for his uh, uh, recovery. Uh, encouraging news that it does not appear to be life-threatening. Thinking about his family, I can only imagine his wife and his children at this moment of concern. I know my wife has reached out to me uh, wondering, are you safe as others? It's it's also the others who were injured in this horrific incident. We uh, pray for their uh, well-being and their recovery. Congressman, Congress is such a partisan place right now, but it really is also, this is a rare opportunity for there to be a nonpartisan event, the congressional baseball game. How important now is the ball game? between Democrats and Republicans? Well, we actually have competition, whether it be uh, on the basketball court. Yeah. You know, we throughout the year have various events. The congressional baseball game tomorrow night is just one of an example of several activities that we come together, uh, Democrats and Republicans, friendly competition, but always for a good cause, a charity. I'm a runner. I go out uh, usually a couple of mornings each week. I sleep in my office. I'm running with Democrats and Republicans in the morning. So a lot of people think uh, because of what they see uh, on the TV uh, and read in the press about uh, uh, contentious uh, discussion and dialogue, candidly, we all actually get along pretty well. We have deep policy uh, differences, uh, and that's understandable. Uh, but we also know each other, respect each other, and understand we're in uh, uh, this uh, together. And, and there's another Another understanding also about Capitol Police. You know, I know this as a reporter who worked up here now for five, six years, and young staffers and lawmakers on both sides of the aisle. Just the presence of the Capitol Police and the job that they have to do. And clearly, you know, thankfully they were they were at the field because, of course, the security detail because of Representative Police. But talk to me about the importance of what the Capitol Police does in order to keep people safe and their role in today's events? You know, uh, it is critical. They do a very difficult job. They have to literally be perfect. Anything that drops through the, the cracks could end up in a tragedy. Yes, the fact that two of our Capitol Police officers, part of the, the security detail, because Steve Scalise is the majority whip, he does receive a detail just like the majority leader and the Speaker of the House. I, can only imagine what would have happened had those two people not been there this morning. Uh, so thankfully they were there. Uh, we have received alerts this morning from uh, Capitol Police to notify us about the heightened activity. Uh, but that's not to suggest that they are in any way not always on a heightened status. This is a, a very secure area here at the Capitol. What happened this morning was obviously off campus. But we as legislators and the public in general, there's a lot of interaction. There's lots of spaces where people aren't having to go through metal detectors. Uh, I'm walking across yeah. the street, uh, walking in the mall. Uh, I run down to the Lincoln Memorial each morning. Uh, so you're out there in the public. And unfortunately, uh, we do have a dangerous world, uh, but we are also mindful of needing to uh, be conscious of our own safety. And, uh, you know, and you think back in the past couple of years when any time this has been by, without question the worst uh, the, the shooting uh, but anytime there is a security scare you feel the immediate presence of the Capitol Police this also Washington which I don't think people outside of the Beltway fully understand is a very young environment it young 20-something staffers parents who you know see their kids fresh out of college arriving to Washington working in the halls of Congress the staffers that were there this morning, we're now learning that some of them were among the, the folks who were, were shot. Uh, what can you say, to, you know, you, you, you have a staff and, and you see that culture in Washington. What do, what do you say to them or, or to, to your colleagues, to your colleague staffers 
uh, and to their families. Yeah. You really do think about them because these are 18, 19, 20 year olds, oftentimes summer break from college. I've got several interns in my office. All you have to do is go out and stand outside the Capitol South Metro Station at about <laughs> 8 o'clock and just see the sea of these energetic, bright, passionate people working for Democrats and Republicans, getting that Hill experience. Uh, this is going to be uh, hopefully a teachable moment for them of uh, seeing how we react. We have a responsibility as elected officials to set examples. So for the parents and others who have uh, sent their uh, young uh, children to Washington, we're certainly going to do everything we can. This is a great experience for a young person, but we also are mindful of the challenging uh, safety environment uh, within which we live. We're seeing that. I spoke earlier this morning with uh, a friend of the of one of the victims who has been uh, shot and, and you're seeing just the different it, it, it doesn't break through on the news but just how close really and, and bipartisan and non-political many of these staff level relationships are you know, these are going to be lifelong relationships. Yeah. Uh, these are people who have come to Capitol Hill to get that experience, to test the waters, uh, whether it be on their political interests or their policy interests. Uh, this will be an indelible mark in every one of uh, those young persons' minds for the balance of their life. They're going to remember uh, this incident. Let me, let me ask you about the ball game tomorrow night, the importance of that of seeing Republicans and Democrats at Nats, Nats Field, where the Nationals play. But clearly that is going to be a moment. Your, your colleagues arriving earlier today in their uniforms. Yes. I mean, what what message are, 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 are lawmakers is, forget about Republicans, what message is Washington, this institution, sending to the, the shooter? Yeah. Well, first of all, we're not going to be deterred uh, from this outrageous act of violence. We're going to continue to do the people's work that uh, our voters gave us the opportunity uh, to go to Washington and work on. Secondly, we do need to move forward. We can't simply say we're going to change our behavior. I understand the need for extra security today, but we're going to get back to the people's uh, business. And I think uh, the game, uh, assuming it goes forward, uh, maybe potentially delay, but assuming it goes forward, uh, it will happen. Whenever it is, it'll happen. It'll happen, and we will use that as, again, a moment to set an example uh, for all of the people we have the honor of representing that we are not going to be deterred. We're going to step up to the plate, sorry for the pun, uh, and keep doing the people's work. Today, votes I'm hearing are postponed. What, what in terms of when will Congress obviously always working. I don't want to suggest that the shooter is, is stalling Congress, but votes postponed just you know, our, our schedule is flexible. Yeah. Uh, we have the ability to, if we don't take up a, a bill today at 1 o'clock, we can take it up tomorrow. What the concern right now is the safety uh, of the people who work here on the Hill the deep concern and prayers for those individuals and the families that were shot, uh, and a desire to try to get to the bottom to understand what the motivation of this horrific act was. So we're going to take our time, uh, but we also need to understand the, the, the significance of this, but we will not be deterred from doing the work of the people of this country.